So we're taking a boat to Puerto Calera. Uh, boat ride. It's going to take about an hour and a half. It was pretty humid and hot. It looks kind of cold, but believe me, it was hot. And everybody in the boat was very quiet, just looking around because the boat ride was just tranquil, very soothing for sure. So we come up to the shore and I'm like, where is the dock? No dock here. Coming straight off the boat. I was not prepared for this. We had our luggage, our bags and everything, walking straight on sand. I wasn't even sure where we were going. I was just following the leader. Going with the flow. <laughs> then all of a sudden it starts raining drops water drops just hitting my face I didn't care I was there to have fun There's a bunch of these ladies wearing pink on the beach. It's offering services to braid your hair, give you a massage, and I'm not too sure what else, but very cheap. travel locally by tricycle you'll see a million of these in the streets everywhere off-road on road don't matter and it's fairly cheap you can get a ride for no more than a hundred pesos which is two bucks 
Sometimes 30 pesos which is less than a dollar. In the Philippines, this kind of greenery is very typical. You'll see this all around, all kinds of places, all surrounding areas. I told Sadie, why don't you go run through those bushes and see what happens? She refused. What's really cool is that uh, you'll see mangoes growing all over the place. You'll see coconuts all over the place. I mean, it goes wild. That's awesome. this point, me and Sadie are pretty excited exploring the Philippines. We were told we could go to a cave and go underwater, so we are headed there at this point, right now. So we get here, and I'm not too sure if these are lava rocks or coral, but these are sharp, and it's very steep, and if you do one wrong move and fall, you are done for sure. It is scary. This is kind of fun.